This video is not sponsored. Look what I've got for my Christmas present. I hope this device will help me with my workflow in my home studio. It's Presonus Faderport V2, which I got for around 200 bucks. Let's unbox this little guy after the intro. So what's inside the box? Instruction with USB cable. The controller itself. And the power supply. And that's it. You can buy a foot switch as an option and use it, for example, as your record pattern. Nice for musicians, but also for sound designers. Anybody that records using hands. Let's have a quick look on the specs of this thing. Single touch sensitive, 100 mm long, motorized fader. Scroll, transport control, play stop, rewind, loop, record, solo mute arm, uh, automation buttons, some Somebody. <laughs> and some other buttons down there. Okay, let's plug this in. First the power supply. Oh, and you get different adapters so you can travel with this all over the world. And don't worry about the type of the socket you have there. Now the USB cable. It's going to be messy this time, but whatever. Uh, and what I want to show you in this video is how idiot proof is this device. I mean, I am not an idiot, but I like plug and play stuff. We'll see if that's one of them. If you watch my channel, you know that I mostly use Logic Pro X, but I do work on Pro Tools too. So I am going to check uh, the compatibility and how easy is the setup. And of course, uh, I read that not everything works when fader port is used with different software than Studio One, which is obvious Studio One is made by Presonus. Important thing when you won't use it with Studio One, you need to hold the next button when powering up and then follow the instruction to click one of the buttons to select the DAW you want to work with. And for Logic it's mute, for Pro Tools it's touch. So Logic first. It uses Mackie to work with Logic and it's really plug and play. It appears on the launch as a control surface and voila, nothing to do more just works. But let's check if any of the buttons doesn't work. Fader works. Solo, mute, arm works, touch, write, read, works. Previous, next, works. Panning, works. Channel select, works. Scrolling, works. Master channel works. Click, we'll check it in a minute. Section works. Marker works. So now let's try the transport buttons. Record works. Stop works. Scrolling works both sides, looping works and now let's check the click. Works. The one that doesn't work, uh, I've read, is the bypass which should uh, 
bypass all the effects on the channel strip so it doesn't work and let's see if the shift works as it should so this one should solo clear we have four tracks in solo shift solo works so now let's do the same with mute shift mute works everything is unmuted other things you have here is uh, the lock option flip option uh, let's check the zoom with shift button and it works too so i guess what i read on the internet about the bypass button this is the only thing that doesn't really work with logic pro x that's fine for me now let's jump into pro tools again powering up with the next button and choosing touch to work with pro tools so we are in pro tools uh, this is one of my youtube mix session where i was doing the vader video and this one in pro tools uses uh, hui protocol and fun fact about polish language is when you read hui in polish it sounds like hui and this word is very bad let me just say it's a name of one of man's organs and i'm not talking about instrument like church organ or something organ you know you need to add fader port manually here and the peripherals choose midi controllers type hui receive and send presonus fp2 and you can't really choose anything else than eight channels here and if you work with pro tools for some time you, you won't be surprised that it doesn't really like the external software not made by avid and i think we will just have similar situation with this one here so let's try with the easy ones for pro tools let's see if uh, track selections work it does work fader work play stop scroll works looping works record works solo works mute works let's just make the uh, solo in the latch mode so we can check the solo clear it works mute arm everything works bypass so the same situation in uh, logic i guess yes bypass doesn't work touch read write works panning channel control scroll section section doesn't work marker should work yes it does uh, so let's try the click I need to make a click track and the click also works as you just saw, the fader port isn't ultimate and universal dual controller, but it works just fine with Logic and it helps with Pro Tools. I was aware of those things before I bought it, but still it was not a lot of money and even if these features are cut a bit in my dose, I still believe this little guy will speed up my workflow and help me with my projects. If any of you, my beloved viewers and subscribers, is using this device, Please let me know in the comments about your feelings on this one and if you like this video smash the like and subscribe buttons and until next time.